Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on the Navigator software. And again, we will deal with enhanced oil recovery. Enhan enhanced oil recovery topic, it's about solvent injection. So basically, solvent is a mixture of light hydrocarbons that we inject to extract more oil in viscous oil reservoir. All right, so oil with high viscosity we inject the solvent and we expect to decrease the viscosity to enable the well, to enable the oil to flow easier. And of course, we expect that the production will increase. Before we do the job, I just want to remind you, if you feel, if you think that this channel or this video is useful, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press like button, right? The like button there. Okay, thank you for your kindness. So this is, again, we will use sample case from the navigator. And you can see here, we have original oil in place, 23.9 million stock tank barrel. Okay, so this is our map, pressure map, the 2D map, and this is the 3D map. So we have four zones there. And you can guess that between these zones, we most likely have shells that sort of separate the zones, okay? But that doesn't matter. And you can check the saturation of oil. Okay, good saturation. The pressure, quite high, 4,000. And let's check the porosity distribution permeability along X, okay. The permeability at the top around 20 millidarcies and 20, oh, around 20 millidarcies. So it's not really high. Okay, and then at initial condition, one per viscosity, this is the value. Okay. Yeah, in this case, I already opened the case that we already apply the solvent. So I think I will not build the model from scratch, from zero, but we will use what's already been there, right? And I will, hopefully I can explain to you all the features here and there. Okay, so as usual, let's go to files and check the model data to see whether there is any specific or any unique keywords there. So, of course, we open with the run spec. This is the title. This is the dimension. All right, how many blocks we have in X direction, Y direction, and Z direction. Okay. And then this is the phases that we have, oil phase, water phase, gas, dissolved gas. Basically, we are using black oil modeling. And here we apply, you know, solvent keyword to enable that or to, to make the software knows that we have solvent here. We are dealing with solvent here. Okay, so this is the next keyword, miscible, because we want to perform miscible injection. Field unit, unif out, okay, typical, and then start, start of the simulation. And fault dim, okay, fault dim is the keyword to define the maximum number of faults that we can have in our model. All right, and yeah, as usual, you know, we usually find tap dims, okay? This is actually the setting for the data that we have, okay? Number of regions with different parameter values. Like for example, the first number here for, this is number of saturation function region. We have four or we set four. And this one is number of regions with different PVT properties. And this one is maximum number of saturation nodes in any saturation table. This one is 
maximum number of nodes of pressure in one PVT table. So basically it's setting for data table. Okay, and then the fifth number of fluid in place region. Okay, we allow it to have seven fluid in place, something like that. Okay, and after tap dims, as usual, we also have how how do we call it? Equal dims. Okay, this keyword specifies dimensions of equilibration table. Like in this case, we have value or number two. This is number of equilibration regions. You can check it here. Equilibration regions. We actually have only one, but you can allow it to have two something like that. And 100, what is 100? This is the number of depth nodes in any table of pressure versus depth constructed internally by the equilibration algorithm. So we allow more numbers, more values. Okay, 100 numbers of depths in any table, table of pressure versus depth. Because, you know, in equilibrium calculation, or initialization calculation, we deal with pressure and depth. And the third number there is maximum number of depth nodes in any RSVD, RS versus depth table. And then one here, maximum number of tables of initial tracer concentration, it's not really relevant here actually. And number five, maximum number of lines in table of initial tracer concentration versus depth. Not really relevant for our case right now, but that's the setting. That's the keyword. Okay, and well dims, the keyword set up dimension of well data. You know, I said that all the time, well dims, the setting for data table for our well, like 250 is the maximum number of wells Okay, that we allow in our model. 90 is the maximum number of connections that one well can have. Connection between well and the model, the reservoir. 10 is the maximum number of well groups in our model, whereas 200 is the maximum number of wells in one group. Okay, and then end scaling is about, you know, relative permeability that we will use end scale or endpoint endpoint value, okay, endpoint value uh, in our relative permeability application. And EQL ops, you know, this is the keyword to, or this keyword specified options for initial equilibration algorithm. And if we use here, qui ask, this option enables pressure modification to achieve initial quiescence. Okay, and then grid ops. This keyword set options for grid data processing. So if we use, for example, yes, so we will specify that we will use multiplier. We enable the usage of multiplier in our gridding. Unified, unified, you know, this is about the reporting, the result, regions, okay. Okay, let's see grid. We have grid here and then edit. If you want to do editing and you want to separate all the editing technique, editing approach that you want to apply on the grid, you can put that in separate file. Use that with keyword edit. And then properties, this is very important for our case here. We will check it later. Regioning, solution for initialization, summary, schedule, also important, and so that's for the data set. Now let's check the grid. Okay, 